What's up, nerds? Welcome back to Collector's Edition. Um, in this episode, we're going to be covering... Uh, Mako Monkan Shoku from Kill a Kill and Amy from Gargantia on the Virtuous Planet. They're mouthfuls. Yeah. I totally understand that. But they're wonderful characters, both yeah. of them are. I know this I know of this character. I just started Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill is a great anime. Yeah. It is like fan service out the wazoo, but mm -hmm. it is it's fan service to, to the it's point tasteful. of making fun of fan service. Yeah. It's, it's tasteful for sure. Yeah. And Amy is just sweet character from Gargantia. She's the one that befriends the main um, character, Leto, and shows him around town and she's She's great and mm. she's super bad. Yeah. Cause she she's just like this cute little girl, just you know jumps off the edge of a cliff, gets on her air glider and just delivers mail across all these ships. She's super cool. But sounds like a rad job. Yeah, she's really, yeah it is a really cool job. Um, yeah. What in in terms with? of the figures, yeah. yeah. Let's let's go back to these figures are great. Yeah. Um, this is actually what I would recommend beginners mm -hmm. start collecting is Nendos and Figmas. Nendoroids and Figmas. Mm -hmm. um, they're, uh, Figmas are done by Max Factory, which is associated with Good Smile, which mm -hmm. does an Android. So mm -hmm. both of these are reliable lines to get. They're never going to so. be bad figures. They're never going to be bad figures. They may have some quirks to them. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll tell you about it for sure. Um, but for, for the most part, their quality, the paint job is nice, the sculpts are nice. Oh, yeah. And the beautiful thing about Nendroids and Figmas is that they come with so many little accessory parts because you, they're articulated so you can pose them. Uh, they've got all these different expressions so that you can do a whole mm -hmm. range of them because, you know, like they, they, they give you more love yeah, yeah, <laughs> for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, like with Good Smile in terms of like Mako, there's, she's got four face yeah, plates. Yeah, that, that's actually kind of unprecedented, especially yeah. for Nendroids. They usually give you one to two extra face plates, but she's got three, and she came out twice. Uh, the re-release came mm. out with more faces for Jesus. her face. Yeah, so she's got so like So she's got four six, total, but like... More. Yeah. I think she's got about six of them out there, which is crazy to think about. Yeah. <laughs> but she's great. She's... Yeah. I love like her. Another set of legs, another set of arms, an extra peg. They come with her little gross croquets mm -hmm. from the anime where they eat and her little dog. Yeah, uh, Amy comes with her messenger bag, her squirrel, and her, actually just can't figure this out, her squirrel's tail does a full 360, like it's articulated. Oh my god, that's <laughs> you awesome. You can get some like little squirrel feeling action in there. Yeah. And uh, she comes with a bunch of different handsets, mm -hmm. two different face plates, and an extension to her... Um, base, mm -hmm. which is kind of useless because cons to Amy is she's really heavy, especially with her air glider, so she'll want to lean yeah. over and it's kind of hard to get her figure it's a to little, do. She's a little too top heavy You're for the You're fighting base. gravity, yeah. basically. It's going to tip. Yeah, so that's... And if you can probably <laughs> see it on camera. She's it, very she's, wiggly. She's, I mean, yeah. like, if you wiggle her around, she's, she's sturdy, there. but she wiggles mm -hmm. and that... That's like anxiety inducing yeah. for me as a figure collector. I don't like seeing my, my figure wiggle because yeah. in the end that weakens the plastic. Mm -hmm. If you've got a static figure, yeah. any wiggle will actually bend it after a while. Mm -hmm. and that's that's point now. Um, Nendos mm -hmm. are a little bit more sturdy. They're short, they're about four inches. Figmas are about five. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just cute. Like and yeah. the, the beautiful thing about Nendos yeah, is that Marco's they're- adorable. Marco is so cute. It. I love her little paint. Her paint, her hair paint job is really nice, and mm -hmm. I love that about Nendos that they yeah. really take care into making sure that the face is is really well done. I love the way they paint and sculpt Nendo faces and eyes. They're mm -hmm. very well done. So much detail. It's just so much detail. Yeah. I it's love a, it. It's like a, an actual 3D face. It's not just a flat sculpt. No, yeah. Most most sculpts, especially on like one eighth size figures mm -hmm. too, like they're they're fairly flat, except for like maybe the nose. Yeah, for the most part, it's quite flat. But, I mean, but Nendos have more life to them. Yeah, they like, give them in her face in her face plates. I mean, there's actual like indentation of like her mouth, indentation of where her eyes are. And things like that so there's a lot of detail for such a small figure that it's yeah good smile at it again mm -hmm. good smile is a great company to buy from guys yep. you, you can never go wrong with them now price ranges for these guys um nendos usually cost a little bit less uh mako went out for 3800 yen so about 
thirty-six dollars, thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, Figma's she went for about forty-five hundred yen, so closer to like forty-three dollars. They can go from forty to fifty dollars. Figma's mm -hmm. can and. And, and then there's Especially 30 Especially after to 40. like yeah. in, being imported and things like that, you're probably gonna pay just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Which is not bad. This is not like $100 for no. like nice 1 8 1 7 size full scale figures. These guys are great to start out with because you can yeah. interchange them, you can pose them, you, you can do so much more with these. The, down, the, the drawback, I would say, to um, these guys is because they have so many articulated parts that you are touching them and handling them more. You they're run? more prone to snapping. Yeah. They're more prone to breaking and just wear and tear from usage, like yeah. usage over the years. Actually, Amy, while we were setting her up, I had to super glue her little end uh, snippet wings. and yeah. one of her wing um, handles popped off. So that was sad, but a little super glue fixed the job mm -hmm. perfectly fine. Um, Definitely a staple to have in your uh, tools to have <laughs> yeah. for your collection. Just get some good old, yes, good super, old super glue. glue. Make sure it's not too runny because you don't want it dripping yeah. off the side. Something yeah. with a more like instant dry viscous yeah. consistency consistency would help you. Mm -hmm. um, and you usually try to get like the ones with the smaller tips, so you can get in and do de the uh, yeah. detail work. Uh, that'll work perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I know she 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 jiggles. <laughs> she just wiggles around. I just, it's happy. still like just like PTSD of like watching no. eight, eighteen fall over. So I see something wiggle out of the corner of my eye. Oh I'm just, like, yeah, it's eighteen falling. was a nightmare. Yeah. That was a total nightmare. You just turned her around. Mm -hmm. She just dis just disintegrated. Yeah, no hold whatsoever. That's also one thing that we uh, had a little. Yeah, there is. Ma a Mako's head is a little bit loose, yeah. but not too much that you can't put her in the right position. Mm -hmm. It holds wherever you position it, but it's like when you just pick it up and it kind of give it a it little jolt, falls back a little bit. And that that happens with Nendo's because mm -hmm. they are top heavy because their heads are I mean, so yeah. much larger. Yeah. They're essentially chibis, so. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love these two, and I love Nendoroid and Figma's. These lines are great, and mm -hmm. they have lots of them. There are uh, like. They're in the thousands. They they'll number, like which Nendroid in the line that they do. They're in the thousands now for Nendroids, and I think they're close or have already passed the thousands for Figmas as well. Mm -hmm. So, if that tells you something about how beloved these lines are, how popular and yeah. well done they usually always are, and they're relatively but, cheap. Yeah, yeah, for under fifty bucks, that's yeah. a really good deal. Yeah. It really is. Well, Hopefully, like, it doesn't inflate in price over time. Right. It that has happened um, and, recently. And because of that, like you said, they're great starters. They're great starters. They are yeah. great starters. It teaches you how to take care of them, mm -hmm. and any like little problems that you would have like with your big scale figures, it's good to you know practice on a mm -hmm. smaller scale, less expensive figure. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want you know a good two hundred dollar figure to you just fall apart in your hands because you've been manhandling and you don't know how to handle your, your figure correctly and you just right. snap they, something off. Because they will snap. They, yeah. they are plastic pieces and so some of these pieces are very light and fragile um, just to be cost effective. And you know, a good amount of pressure in the wrong way will just snap that baby and that is, mm. ooh, that's a nightmare. That's never happened to me because I'm very gentle with my figures. I try to be, because I don't want, I want them to last. Mm -hmm. I like and appreciate them. <laughs> Um, I mean, okay. if you get like Buku's of money, you just want to throw at figures, then manhandle them. Go to for your... it. If you're rich like that, psh, send some my it. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, great line and great figures from yeah. two great companies. So I give these both um, eight out of tens. Yeah. I won't give them full ten out of tens just because they, they aren't. They do have their issues. They have their issues, and they aren't um, full one eight scale figures. Mm -hmm. They're not like full on out paint jobs or anything, but for their lines mm -hmm. and, you know, respective yeah. figures themselves, they're great. I think, yeah, and I think they're they great. make up for that for the accessories that you get. Yeah, gosh, so many accessories. Just, and the, de like, they never skimp out on details, mm -mm. ever, for these little guys. Like the squirrel, the squirrel is maybe <laughs> less than tiny. half of an inch long. I want to compare the squirrel to Luffy on Shira Fishy's figure, because Luffy is a teeny tiny figure. Look at this. Mm -hmm. The scroll is smaller, but just about 
as much love and detail on mm -hmm. both of them right. as you would well, just want. just the fact that you can turn the tail 360. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I don't know if that was like meant to be done that way, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> More options. But yeah, definitely. I'd give them an 8 out of 10. Um, they're just really great looking figures. I mean, paint job's great. The face, the... Oh, there she yeah, goes. Yeah, see, that was... That's okay. Yeah. It's I fine. can live with that. Mako's a great figure. Yeah, that... That's and that, that makes sense. Fine. She's she's top heavy. Yeah, but great, great sculpts, great paint jobs, and well priced. Yeah, really sure. well priced. But yeah, that's that's as much as we got for these figures. I really can't say anything else about them. No. This is not a bad, bad experience whatsoever. These mm -hmm. are both part of my private collection, so mm -hmm. you know I always try to get good shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, we'll close this episode out. I've been Jonathan. I'm Jocelyn. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Collector's Edition. We'll see you nerds later. Bye!